Okay, this is me happily smiling and enjoying my dinner just 10 minutes before I hit the bottom of the soup bowl to find there are not only chicken feet but also a rooster head. Ah, the joys of exploring China, always keeping you on your toes. And yes, in case you're wondering, the soup was delicious though. You might recall Mr. Chen from my last video during our Chanmen Shan trip. Well, this meetup was a real game changer. They had us rethinking some parts of our travel itinerary because there was so much we hadn't known. For instance, that famous glass bridge we were so excited about? Surprisingly, it was closed for construction during our stay. Google didn't bother to tell us, but Mr. Chen did, saving us a boatload of time and disappointment. Now let's chat about Zhang Jiajie Park. Zhang Jiajie National Forest Park is just a 45-minute drive from Zhang Jiajie City. The most common and convenient way to reach it is through the Wuling Yuan Scenic Area Entrance, typically by taking a bus. We knew it was big, but it's ginormous, covering around 11,900 acres. That's about 48 square kilometers which probably says nothing to you. So to put it simply, it's like an island of Manhattan. It's even larger than Monaco and just half the size of cities like Paris or Barcelona. The entrance fee varies depending on the season. When we visited in September, which is considered high season, the cost was 298 yuan. It's important to note that they only offer four day tickets. So keep it in mind, even if you're just planning a one day trip. This ticket covers the entrance fee and shuttle buses, but remember to budget extra for elevators or cable cars during your visit. One of the most important things to keep in mind about the park is that it has two levels, ground floor trails and top floor trails. Plus, there are trails that connect the two. I highly recommend taking the lifts. Hiking up isn't worth the time and energy. So if you only have one day to explore, here's the route Mr. Chen and I recommend. Now back to Zhang Jiajie Park. Imagine ancient seas, millions of years ago, laying down layers of sand and rock like a giant sandwich. Then mother nature got creative with tectonic activity and erosion. Rain, wind, and plants went to town on the softer layers, leaving behind these stunning sandstone pillars. That's how Zhang Jiajie's spire-like formations came to be. The park is drop-dead gorgeous with those surreal mountains and a touch of smog to keep it mysterious. You'll feel like you've stepped into a painting from another dimension where nature is the artist and every rock and tree is a masterpiece. Some say that these towering pillars were once giants, frozen in time for defying the gods. And as you wander among them, you can't help but wonder if there's a bit of truth to these stories. There's an energy here, a sense of ancient wisdom that whispers through the wind and rustles the leaves. It's like the mountains themselves are trying to tell you their secrets. But there is just one tiny issue. <laughs> The tourist tsunami. Everything here feels like a race against time. Oh, and say hello to our friends, the tour groups. We either had to sprint to stay ahead or embrace the waiting time, trapped in the middle of the madness. And tour leaders with microphones do not exactly help in maintaining the tranquility you'd expect in a national park. And just when you thought you'd hit big crowdness, surprise, there is an even more jam-packed place waiting for you. Take the infamous Avatar Mountain, or as it used to be known, the Hallelujah Mountain. You've seen the Avatar, right? Well, this park is where they drew inspiration for those floating mountains. The movie was such a massive hit that even the Chinese government decided to get it on the action, renaming some spots, including the Hallelujah Mountain, and adding movie-themed names. 
But unfortunately, the park became a victim of its own success. Every year, its fame draws even more tourists. Jiangjiajie is undeniably stunning. But there is something you start to notice after a while. I mean, when you first spot them, it's like, wow. You're excited and it's all good. Even after you fought your way through hordes of tourists for an hour or two, you're still like, okay, this is so cool. However, as times go on and you see these same pillars from every possible angle and in all kinds of lighting, it's like they become those old friends you've chatted a bit too much for just one day. That initial magic starts to fade. And it's not about being spoiled or anything, it's just the way it is. Our final adventure in the park led us to the Beilong Elevator, a truly colossal feat of engineering. However, if you plan to follow in our footsteps, be prepared for long queues. This place is wildly popular, and for a good reason. It's the largest outdoor elevator in the world, built right into the mountain. So, expect some wait time and don't forget to purchase a ticket to ride. Trust me, the experience is worth it. It's truly an amazing creation of human mankind. And the views are just spectacular. I know some explorers spend an entire week here, fully immersing themselves in both levels of the park. However, based on my experience, I'd suggest to stay off no longer than three days to strike that perfect balance. And don't forget to venture beyond the park to discover the wonders of the Grand Canyon, the thrill of the glass bridge, and the serenity of Baofeng Lake. And if I ever find myself returning to this place, you can bet I'll be staying in Wuling Yuan for its convenient park access. To sum it all up, Zhangjiajie National Forest Park is a natural wonder that will leave you in awe of its beauty. While it can get crowded, especially during peak seasons, the breathtaking scenery and efficient transportation systems still make it a must-visit destination. So, if you're planning a trip to this breathtaking park, remember to prepare for some crowds, a lot of hiking and just a friendly piece of advice. Don't forget to stock up on some toilet paper. No questions asked. Make the most of your adventure and, as always, travel safe.